Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to my channel, T to the Y to the M to the ARA. All right, so today we want to see what's going on in your energy. We already prayed and meditated, and we pulled some cards, and I'm going to let you know what's going on. So remember, this is a general reading for the Sagittarius Collective. If you like a reading that's more personal to you or like to ask me a question, please check out my website at beingtomorrow.com at the link located in the description box below. All right, so let's see what's going on for my Sagittarius Collective, Sun, Moon, Robin, or Venus. So the first energy that came out here was straight up Sagittarius energy. We had the Sun of Wands, and the Sun of Wands speaks of being ready for new opportunities, taking action, living in your own truth, living in your power. This has to do with your own natural gifts and ability. I feel like somebody's gift and abilities is going to open the door for a lot of people to watch them. And you're ready for it. Like you were built for this. You were made for this. This is straight up your energy. As you see, there's a man that's here on this card. It's crocodile surrounding him. Yet he has a selfie stick in his hand and people are watching him. So I feel like whoever this is, your natural gifts is going to open the door for your natural raw talents. You're ready for people to be watching you, surrounding you, your gifts. Like I Feel this energy strongly where you're going to be out there on the forefront. And your gifts are calling you. And you're very passionate about it. You have this new raw energy for this project that you're going to take on. Now, this is going into this energy. Even though you are passionate about this project, there still seems to be a little bit of insecurity here with the father of baskets. Because baskets, baskets is the same as cups. And this represents our emotions. And normally, a father of baskets is a disciplined individual. But with it being in reverse... There's still a little bit of insecurity around taking the advantage, taking the initiative, putting yourself out there. It's like you're ready for it. You was born for this, but you're still a little bit insecure on some part of it feeling like maybe I'm not great enough. I'm not good enough. It's not to a certain standard. Almost I'm getting this energy of perfectionism perfectionism before putting yourself all the way out there and spirit is saying no we're here to give you the message that you're ready you're in your own energy you're ready to do this i feel like you're going to be a trendsetter or whatever you do is just non-traditional you're just different and that's okay put yourself out there do not be insecure about putting yourself putting your foot forth and doing what is what spirit is calling you to do because soon to follow, when we ask spirit, well, what's going to come from this? As soon as you put yourself out there, you're going to be reaping the rewards with the mother of coins. Like you want to be nurturing and receiving the rewards that come with putting yourself out there and living in your truth, naturally being yourself. Spirit keeps telling you, don't be like nobody else. Be who you are. If there is a reason in your life where you could not sit at nobody's table, that's because the table is not meant for you. You are meant to create your own table and people are going to sit at your table. There are people just like you out there. And this is why you have not fit. This is why you certain times in your life you were not able to fit in. And I feel like spirit keeps coming back with this reading. I don't know why this keeps coming out because I've read this energy before. But somebody must not be listening for this reading to be coming out again. So put yourself out there. Uh, like we know that there are some insecurities out there, but still, once you put yourself out there, you're going to reap a lot of rewards from being honest, being honest and showing your true authentic self. Three, three on the clock. We're just saying that. With the eight of swords being out here, eight of knives, eight of swords. This speaks of their being some type of fear of failure it seems like the insecurities are surrounding you possibly fell and the insecurities are surrounding i feel like you could be a tarot reader or you do something spiritual if you are starting a new project a major project thinking about traveling or you do something spiritual where you're afraid of putting yourself out there because you feel like people are going to doubt you and not trust you or you don't know if you're doing it the right or correct way and I'm here to tell you that fear of failure is what's stopping you. And spirit keeps telling you, no, go ahead and push through. Because whatever this is that you do is non-traditional. I feel like you go against the grain. Whatever this is, is very rebellious. It could be taboo. And it does not go in alignment with what other people will say. And you're kind of afraid of that criticism that may come with this. But spirit is telling you and pushing you forward. Go ahead and do this regardless. Because it's your natural gift and this your honest truth is you and there are other people like you in this world whatever this is that you're going to do with the higher being in the reverse it challenges a lot of traditional standards 
And that's kind of what's going on. I feel like whatever this is, is non-conforming. It's just different. Whether you want to get a tattoo in the middle of your forehead, that's you. And there are a lot of people like you. Regardless of what this is, I feel like whatever you're going to do is going to set you apart. Okay. We also had the Ace of Knives being out here. And the Ace of Knives speaks of like walking into this new energy, this new mindset. This speaks of like this new beginnings, just this strong transformation. This is going to put you in sync with who you naturally are at the core, two of coins. It's going to put you in sync with who you naturally are. But there still seems to be this energy where you are doubting yourself and there's some fear out here. This is you facing your shadow self. This is the lesson that you're in. This is what you need to overcome at this time. Alexa, stop. This is what you have to face at this time because we had the magician to follow. And the magician speaks of like you orchestrating it, you being creative, you manifesting this energy. What else, spirit? Coffin, new beginnings, new beginnings, this growth, change, liberation, a transition that came out here with the magician. You're going through a strong change. Going into the Sagittarius energy, this change is coming in. I don't know why I just spiritually, intuitively, I just saw somebody's mom. Somebody's afraid of how their mom or grandma, big mama, might respond to whatever it is that may not be traditional. So it's like this is a, another reason why somebody's kind of doubting putting themselves out there or living in their truth because you feel like some type of feminine energy, I'm getting a mother or a great grandma or big mama, something would not approve. But regardless, this is your truth. And you are the creator of your world. Okay, we have the... Yeah, okay. See, we just had the kisses energy, but in the reverse. This speaks of you possibly feeling like you will be rejected or not possibly loved by your loved ones by putting this out there. Whatever this is, once you put yourself out there, or speak your truth or put... Whatever this is, once you put this out there, you feel like somebody will reject you and not love you the same. What else? Look, unconditional love. See, yeah, we just said this. Regardless, you love everybody else. You have unconditional love for people. I'm getting, now I'm getting family. You have a strong, unconditional love for family or your people or something, but do you feel like if you live in your truth, you will be rejected or denied or people will not love you the same? But Spirit is telling you, like, this is, it's time for you to liberate yourself. It's time for you to go through this transition, stop hiding in the closet. Don't hold yourself back anymore. See, yeah. It says relationships reflect our wounds. It's time to do a lot of introspection. Go within to see what this is. Living your truth. Okay, I put a, a few cards prior to this reading when I was meditating. And what came out here is the energy of knowledge. And this knowledge energy says seek out new books to feed you more. Going back to school, taking online classes, learning a new language. These are all good starts. It's a, a constant quest for knowledge. Even if you feel lost, you'll have a gift of knowledge and be glad you stayed one step ahead of the game. So join groups, Facebook groups or something to seek knowledge in whatever this is. If you're saying, hey, I want to be an entrepreneur, go into some entrepreneur groups. Get around like-minded people. You have the gift of knowledge. I feel like whoever I'm talking to is clear audience. Like, you just know things. You know things even without anybody saying anything. You just know. So, you sort of had this intuitive feeling or nudge. But at the same time, you are doubting your intuition when it comes to, like, you know you need to put yourself out there. But at the same time, you're doubting your intuition. You're not trusting it. So, now spirit has to push you on through to make you do do this thing. It's like you're... Ref it's almost in a sense because... Somebody's loved one refuses to see the truth with a situation as well. So you're kind of keeping yourself hidden or small and not really putting yourself out there. Another energy that came out is speaking of like guidance. It says, seek some guidance before you make your move. Talk to your mother, grandmother, a maternal figure in your life or mother nature or mother earth. 
These divine feminine sources can inspire your outlook and help you reach the heart of the matter. So take a step back and consult with your trusted circle. So you are needing guidance. So you have the knowledge. Look, we just said that about going to go join a group or something. Ask your sorority, your frat brother, somebody. Join some type of group or speak to somebody. You're, I'm getting the energy of a non-traditional person. So I was about to tell you to go to the church. But some people can be spiritual and still go to the church. Whoever you believe in, go speak to somebody about this situation. Seek some guidance before you make your move. So that way it could be your best move. Okay? And then next we have defiance. And this defiance energy speaks of like there, there being some like confrontation. And I told you, I felt like the reason why you're not living in your truth is because you're trying to avoid some confrontation. And this card means your back may be up against the wall if you feel like you're being pushed around. And it's not all in your head. If you're feeling like you're sliding downward, a quick snap and you're back up. That means calling out behavior patterns and people around you or even yourself. It's fine to put some bass in your voice. Just make sure you're still kind. If you keep your cool, you stay in total control. I'm going to just straight up say it. I feel like this could be centered around somebody's sexuality. Somebody's sexuality and putting themselves out there. I'm getting a strong either sexu somebody's sexuality or somebody's spirituality. If your spirituality is non-traditional and you're afraid of putting yourself out there, your magic, your potions, your tarot, your something, you're afraid of putting yourself out there because your family may not believe in whatever this is. Or it's your sexuality. You're afraid of saying, hey, I like this person or I like this person. And I've been this way my whole life. You're afraid of the rejection that may come from, I feel like, your mother or your grandmother or something because they play a valuable part in your life and this is why you've been hiding. So it's either one or the two. But Spirit said, no, it's time for a new beginning. It's time for a new beginning. It's like all of this is centered around love and rejection. Am I going to be rejected? Would I be loved? It's like you have the knowledge. You know intuitively to put to live in your truth. But you feel like in a sense this will be defiant to the status quo. And you're not ready to face that. And Spirit is telling you like, hey, it's time. It is time. I'm going to pull one more before we close this reading out. Okay, that's a lot, but okay, we'll take it. Ooh. Okay, we have... I'm getting this energy. If you don't speak your truth, it's going to strongly affect your health because you know... Certain situations, when we close off that throat chakra, it manifests into dis-ease. Somebody could be battling with something with the throat, the thyroid or something, or could be battling with a cough or something. The more you hold stuff in, the more it manifests into dis-ease, which turns into disease, and you wind up battling with stuff medically. So you don't want your health affected by constantly holding stuff in. There's a difference between living a private life and a secreted life, and you not being private or secretive with your friends, but then certain people just don't know and you're kind of hiding who you naturally are. You don't have to dress a certain way behind the scenes and then out in public, you're a different type of way. Like, just live all the way in that truth. Be that way behind the scenes and in front of everybody else. And if it comes to, like, doing your business, if this is about your business, Spirit is telling you to persevere. Like, don't keep holding who you naturally are in. If you want to go full out... You want to put yourself fully out there. Spirit is telling you to persevere. Just keep on going. With your business, with your finances, with your religion, with your spirituality, keep doing it. The right type of people, friendship, are going to find you. The right, your right tribe is going to find you. The right type of people is going to be around you. Get in the audience or get around the people who are just like you. Don't keep putting yourself into places where you don't fit in. Spirit removed you for a reason. Be around people who are similar to you, like-minded to you. And if somebody does not appreciate you, then they just not deserving of your beautiful self. And you don't have to be nowhere around them. It don't matter if you was born into the same um, family circle as them. So be it. Don't force yourself into no type of situation you don't have to be in. All right, indecision. See, you indecisive of what to do, whether to keep on staying one way or walking into this new space of just living in your truth. See, worry, worry. 
and envious. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Yeah, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. You're facing different challenges because you're non-conform, because you don't want to conform, because uh, you live a non-traditional life. I'm also getting the energy of somebody who want to be a van lifer or live on the go. It could be a possible wanderer, a traveler. Maybe you want to live the homesteading life. Or go travel across the country and your family and your mom. Because I keep getting a strong feminine energy. That's what I feel strongly. Like grandma or something. They won't approve of you saying, hey, I want to pack all my stuff and go travel all 48 states. Or I want to go across the country. It's something you want to do that does not seem the typical thing. Like I feel like I'm hearing somebody say, hey, I don't want to go to college. I just want to travel all 48 states. And they're saying, well, how are you going to make money? I'm going to do some shows. I want to go play the sax. I'm going to do jazz shows. I'm getting this type of energy. Because your parent or your loved one or this feminine energy does not approve. And spirit is telling you no. It's time for you to prioritize yourself. It's time for you to bring, be in balance with who you naturally are. All right, that's all I have at this time. If anything resonated, please leave me a message down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.